speed check. random things this is Ty and today I want to share with you a new accessory I got for my e-bike specifically my converted mountain bike that I use for commuting I ride that thing 20 miles each way um, to work and to home and so I primarily ride on the road and in bike lanes and on the road and bike lanes there's quite a bit of hazardous debris um, in fact normally I just have slime because I'm just riding on slime in my inner tubes because I'm just riding on the beach trail or just um, hard packed trails um, and I actually ran over a really hard piece sharp piece of plastic and I actually wedged itself into the tire and it punctured the inner tube and because the plastic was still there um, it continued to blow out air it wasn't until I finally stopped got off my bike figured out what was going on pulled out the plastic piece did the um, did the actual slime push out through the hole um, and kind of seal itself. Um, so it did its job, but um, nonetheless, I had to do a fuel repair and it got me a little nervous. So I was talking to a coworker and he had recommended this Tannis armor. Essentially, it's very much like um, a Mr. Tuffy skin that you can put on the inner lining of the tire. Um, but in this particular case, one, it hardly weighs anything it's super light and two it's actually really thick um, it's 15 millimeters at the crown and it actually wraps all the way around the side with four to five millimeters protection on the side so it can protect you a little bit against side punctures as well as direct punctures with that four you know, four millimeter or 15 millimeter it's got to be a pretty long piece of debris to actually get to the tire and hopefully then also with um, the slime in there um, I have doubled the protection so I got this product on Amazon they're about 50 bucks each um, you need two unless you just want to risk it and put it on one tire um, the actual price varies depending on the tire that you want to put it on so if you're running a electric XP 2.0 step through which is a 20 inch by 3 it's a little different price than this particular tire which is a 27 and a half by 2 essentially um, and so it's all about 20 about 50 bucks i will put a link in the description box so that uh, if you're interested in this product um, you can click on the link below and so um in terms of the actual protection it does say that um you know you it'll give you more uh, nail protection it also provides some comfort because it creates some um, rigidity to the wheel um, it's shock absorbing so allegedly it's more comfortable I don't know um, and it'll protect rim protection so if you do have um, low air pressure um, because it has a little bit of structural form to it um, you're not going to ride on the rim unlike when my wife drives her car after she's punctured it um, and rides on that sparkling sparking wheel and ruling the, the rim um, this will kind of help with that just kidding wife um, so with that I am going to go ahead and get started on removing the, the tires off my, my bike and putting this on. So if you can stick around, you can watch me put that on. Um, if this is enough and it's about where you click off, please make sure you hit the like and share button if you found this video helpful. And uh, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. That will really help me out. And I'll, swap, I'll you know, check in with you at the end after I finish the install. Okay, real quick, before I actually take the wheel off, I want to share with you some ghetto repair tools that I put together to help me um, work on my bike. And so this is a piece of packing foam that came with the, the bike that I saved because I normally just set this down and I flip the bike over onto its handlebars and I set it on there. But what I find is that it likes to move on me. And so because of that, what I do is I just put a hole through it and put one of these Velcro straps and then what I do is I Velcro it to the handlebars so that when I flip it over and it sits on the ground, it doesn't move on me. And this is real nice because then um, the computer is off the ground. I'm not worried about taking that computer screen off so that it's not touching and getting scratched by the floor. And so this is a, a, a piece of tool that actually kind of worked out for me. So I just want to share that with you um, in case you're looking for some ghetto home tools to help you with 
um, your home repairs. Okay, so with that, let's get to the bike. Okay, so I took some air out of the tire. Still a little left. And I got myself a another tool. It's called a Crank Brothers Speedier. I suppose the first version is Speedy. This is called a Crank Brother Speedier Tire Removal Tool. So on one end is the scoop to help you remove the tire. And the other end is to install. So let's check this out. We'll start near the valve stem. And get that in there. It's got a nice handle, but wearing my gloves is a little hard. Yeah, well, that was pretty easy. Let's pull the uh, inner tube out. A lot of slime in the tube somewhere? Okay, so according to the instructions, it says that if you have a 27 and a half by 1.95 to 2 and a half, and this is a 2.2, .2, um, you do need to trim it. Trim the armor for these tire sizes. And I'm assuming you need to trim it. If you look at this, there's a little, little kind of a ridge mark right there so I'm gonna trim that on both sides off and uh, then we'll install it Remember, haste makes waste. Don't cut your fingers. Okay, so installation instructions. I'll take a picture and you'll see it up top. But, uh, do the first bead, put in an inner tube, pull the stem down, put in a second bead. Simple, right? Easy peasy. <sighs> Famous last words. Okay. Get that first bead in. Basically that first edge. Really get it in there. Stem right there. All right, let's get the valve in here. We'll go back and fix the bead in a minute. That's the problem with that when it was kind of um, shipped, that part collapsed itself. So, to be careful with that, let me let some more air out. I feel like this part is like kind of like when I make pizza, you know, I'm constantly going over and over and over because it seems like once I push one end down, the other end pops up. But I guess it's just the way it goes.
Whew. Okay. Now that I got most of it set in there, now comes the fun part. Okay, remember the Crank Brothers Speedier tool? This is the side that helps you put things in. And so you get this into the lip and then you push down. And so you kind of start away from the stem and then you kind of get it started. If I can get it started. Let me just make sure. Uh, okay, full disclosure, that was a lot harder than I had hoped. Partly because I think the tire itself on this particular bike is so tight. Man, I was so worried about losing the skin off my fingers. My hands are uh, all messed up. Let me just pull the stem out a little bit, fix that. Square it away. I think the other part is uh, just kind of go through the bike and pinch through, push down. Just make sure everything is like beaded correctly and nothing is pinching. Just because you had to put so much force into getting that tire back on. You don't want to pinch anything. Just loosen everything up. Okay. So let me... Uh, Put a little bit of air in here. So we'll do it a little at a time. That way, uh, that way it doesn't get, if there is some pinching, you can kind of correct it. Okay. About 10 pounds in here. Let me, uh, Flex this around. Twenty pounds. Again, ah, haste makes waste. Don't go too fast. You want to make sure kind of things kind of sort itself out on its own without you just going full blast. Cause it is tight in there. Oh, you hear that? Okay. Let's loosen things up just so that we can get things to kind of move into place. So it says max PSI is 65. I'm probably only going to take it to 60 because uh, I have that thing in there. I'm not sure how that does with that thing in there. Boy, these tires are getting a little thin. I hate that to do this again. All right, sixty. Whew. All right. There you have it. Let me put this on the bike and go for a quick spin. Well, thank you for sticking around to the end. So let's do a little quick wrap up. Um, in terms of the actual um, tennis armor insert, um, you couldn't really feel it. So I don't think it had any negative impact in terms of your ride quality. And as you can see, I was able to go pretty fast with these inserts. Um, bike felt really stable, couldn't really feel any wobbles. And so I'm pretty happy with the insert so far. Obviously, um, proof will be in the pudding and it will be time um, in terms of 
putting it on the road. I actually took the bike with the insert on a beginner's off-road ride um, in actual mountain biking terrain and it performed just fine. So I'm pretty happy with it. Um, and then in terms of the Crank Brother speedier lever, um, I think it's helpful, especially with installing the tire. Um, I must admit, installing the insert and putting, specifically putting the tire back on when the tire is really tight, um, that was quite a bit of a pain. Um, I actually not shown in the video, but I had to do it again because um, I, I messed up on one part. And when I redid it, um, it wasn't captured on camera, but I actually had deflated the inner tube all the way. And that actually made it a lot easier. And so I know that in the video, I still had left some air in the inner tube. But I would suggest that you deflate the inner tube all the way and actually would make the, uh, I think, make the install part a little easier. Especially since the, the armor provides some rigidity inside, um, on the inside wall of the actual tire. So with that, I really appreciate you sticking around to the end. Um, if you found this video helpful and you liked it, please like and share. Um, and if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. That would really help me out. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next random video. Cheers. By the way, this is just coffee. It's only 9 o'clock in the morning.